This was Greg Kostick here. Uh, in 1983, I foolishly turned down job offers from both Atari and Coleco uh, in order to continue designing games on a freelance basis out of a roach-infested apartment on Amsterdam Avenue uh, in the not-yet-gentrified Upper West Side in, uh, in New York. In order to keep body and soul together as a freelance game designer, I was trying to design a game every two months, um, <clears throat> and in fact did manage to sell games during the period to Avalon Hill, Victory Games, West End Games, and Steve Jackson Games. One of the games I did for West End was called Wet and Starship. The game was developed by Doug Kaufman, who, like me, has gone on to a stellar career in digital games, and he was a, a joy to work with. In designing Web and Starship, I had uh, two objectives. One of them was that I wanted to create a game that felt like uh, a science fiction novel. Uh, hard science fiction with a little bit of, a, of space opera, perhaps something that uh, a writer like Poole Anderson might have written. My second ob objective was to create a, a good three-player game. Um, of which there were then very few. Uh, these days in the kind of Eurogame era, there are lots of games that play adequately with three players. Um, but the reason for that is that Eurogames are in essence uh, solitaire play games played simultaneously in which players affect each other only in the margins. In a directly competitive three-player game, uh, the problem is that they tend to devolve very rapidly into two ganging up against one player, which is no fun for the, for the one player and tends to produce a rather predictable game. Uh, my solution was to create a game that was kind of an economic game in which people did not affect each other directly, that then uh, became a war game at times when someone would declare a war, but that wars would be relatively short in duration um, and would involve some change in uh, star system ownership, but not uh, complete destruction of a player typically. Um, the game was published in 1984. Uh, it was well received. Um, and it won the Charles Roberts Award for Best Science Fiction and Fantasy World Game in, in its year of publication. I'm delighted that uh, Nocturnal slash West End Games uh, is bringing it back into print. Um, I hope you will see fit to support it, and I hope you enjoy playing it when it is published once more. Thank you.